17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. What is the reason for this season? Let's find out as Kenny the Frog and Zeke the Geek discuss the reason for the season of Christmas, the greatest gift. I'm making a list and checking it twice. I want a lot of things and getting stuff nice. Ribbit. My presents are coming to town. Ribbit. My presents are coming to town. Whoa, let's recalculate this. Your presents are coming to town? You act as if it's your birthday. It's better than a birthday. It's present day, Ribbit. Unfortunately, that is not so. Many people think present day. The present day? You got it, my main key. The day of the gifts, Ribbit. Not present day as in gift day, but present day as in the present. Not here. The here and now, speaking of today, the present, not the past. Zeke the Geek, you act like getting presents is a bad thing, Ribbit. Not at all. I like getting gifts, but some people act <coughs> like that's all Christmas is about. Well, isn't Christmas all about gifts? Well, Ribbit. Christmas is about the greatest gift of all. The super transforming Divin Pet Shop Beauty Queen Poodle Pooch Parlor. That is the greatest gift of them all, Ribbit. No, not the super duper, uh, put a, um, what you want to call it. It's not, it's not the greatest gift of all. It's the Super Diva Pet Shop Beauty Queen Poodle Pooch Parlor. Thank you very much, Ribbit. Whatever. It's not the greatest gift of all. Do they, do they already have version 323 out? Every time I think I got the latest version, Ribbit, they make a new one, and I have to buy another one. I wonder if they do that on purpose, Ribbit. You think? The point is, the greatest gift of all is not what, but who. A uh, who? Yes, Jesus Christ is the greatest gift of all. We celebrate Christmas because Jesus is per Jesus' birthday, not ours. Wow, that's right, Zeke. It's Jesus' birthday, Ribbit. I got so excited about getting presents that I totally, I mean, you know, sometimes I just forget what Christmas is all about, Ribbit. After all, Christmas does begin with Christ. I know Christmas is all about Jesus, but why do we call Jesus the greatest gift of all? Jesus is the Son of God who left his home in heaven to be born as a regular person. He was fully God and fully human, and human. Oh, I know the story. A young couple named Mary and Joseph they was engaged to be married when an angel came to Mary and told her about she would have God's son and he would be the savior of the entire world. When Joseph found out that Mary was going to have a baby, he didn't know what to think because they were not married yet. An angel. An angel came to Joseph and told him that baby Mary was going to be carrying God's son, his only son. Can you even imagine? So Mary and Joseph, they were married and they loved each other very much. They had the best baby shower in the world. The birth announcements, they were the grandest ever, ribbon. Jesus had all the best gifts. After all, Jesus is the Son of God. Ribbit. What? I thought you said you knew the story. Didn't I tell it right? 
Up until the part about Jesus having the best baby shower, the, great, the grandest birth announcements ever, and all the best gifts, you must not have listened in the whole, the whole story in Sunday school. I bet you I did. I know a grand entrance when I see one. After all, Jesus is the King of Kings. You tell the story. You'll see I'm right, Ribbit. I'll tell the true story, and you'll see that Jesus entered into the world without any, any of these things. That's you said. If I'm right, you'll have to drink some of my non-alcoholic eggnog. Your recipe stinks to high heaven. Last time I drank it, well, let's just say, you know what happened to my cookies. Well, I still think it was the cookies that made you toss my non-alcoholic eggnog. It was eggnog, trust me. Okay, but you're going to be drinking it again. You'll see that it tastes as good as the way I told the story is that it's true. Not going to happen, because Jesus was born in a barn. Not exactly the best place for a baby shower in the world. Mary and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem to be counted, as dreadful as it seemed. They didn't have computers back then, so everyone traveled back to the city of their birth. When they got there, after their 70-mile journey, the hotels were all full. No vacancy? One nice man let them stay in his barn because Mary was ready to give birth. Couldn't he at least offer her a couch or something? How rude. But Mary and Joseph didn't complain. They were thankful. They gave birth to Jesus, and they wrapped him in swaddling clothes and lay him in a manger. It was very humble entrance for the great king, indeed. Now for the fancy part. I just love the fancy part. You stop me if I get anything wrong, Zeke. Get ready for my famous eggnog surprise, Ribbit. Fancy part? What fancy part? I have a feeling I, was, I will be stopping you very soon. How can you forget the fancy part? When Jesus was born, off in a field in the same country, shepherds, they was watching their flock that night. An angel appeared. They appeared before the shepherds, and God's glory shone round about him. The shepherds, they were so afraid. It's not every day somebody comes before you glowing, Ruby. I would really be afraid nowadays if somebody was glowing. Too much nuclear waste. Go green! Zeke, you really are a geek. But I agree. Recycle. Ribbit. Thank you, I think. Anywho, the angel told the shepherds. Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joys, uh, which shall be to all people. For unto you a baby is born, in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, flying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, goodwill toward men. Ribbit. Wow. The grandest birth announcement ever. Who else has had all of heaven open up to announce their birth? You better get ready for that eggnog, Zeke. Okay, I'll give you that one. The birth announcement was pretty spectacular, but what about the baby shower and the gifts? I don't recall seeing that in anything in the Bible about that. Oh, Zeke, what about the three wise men? They saw the bright north star that God placed in the sky, the sky, in the sky over where Jesus was born. And they went to ask King Herod about the baby who had been born king of the Jews. The king didn't like the, what he heard because he thought he was the king of the Jews. The wicked and foolish king thought Jesus would grow up 
kill him and take over the kingdom. So he plotted to kill Jesus, baby Jesus. He told the three wise men to find the baby and tell him where he was so he could come and worship him also. But the wise men were called wise for a reason. They knew the king was lying and they left to go find Jesus with no intentions of ever returning and telling King Herod where he was. When they found Jesus, they showered him in gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What a baby shower! Those were some pretty awesome gifts. You have to admit it, Zeke. Uh, uh, uh. My stomach's turning already. You tricked me. Eggnog surprise. I didn't mean to trick you, but you really did make me think about Jesus having all the best gifts. Ribbit. Gold, frankincense, myrrh. I am sure you like the part about getting expensive gifts. When I say Jesus has the best gifts, I mean Jesus brings the best gifts into the world. He has all the best gifts and gives them to each of us. He gives us joy, peace, and love. Ribbit. Through God's love in Jesus Christ, everyone can receive the best gift of all. And you're right, see, it's not the new poodle pooch poop parlor. I've been warning that is the best gift. It's the free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Ribbit. The best gift we can give Jesus and others this Christmas is to simply tell others about God's free gift of salvation. You can't unwrap a gift if you don't even know you have it. What kind of gift are y'all giving this Christmas? I'm going to give the best gift of all. I'm going to tell somebody about Jesus so they can receive eternal life. Jesus, God's only son. Wow, Zeke, you were right. Giving is the best. It's much better than receiving. Ruby. So, I don't have to drink the stick duck. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, egg duck. Zeke, just for that, you have to drink double. Uh, wait, come back! I didn't mean it! 